In compound epithelium, the epithelial cells are arranged in multiple layers and this type of epithelium has little role in absorption, excretion, secretion, exchange of gases, etc. They are main concerned with the protection against the mechanical and the chemical stresses. Whereas in simple epithelium, they have little to do against the protection. They are chiefly concerned with the absorption, excretion, secretion, etc. Compound epithelium, they are of two types. The first one is stratified epithelium and the other type is transitional epithelium. In a stratified epithelium, the epithelial cells are arranged in multiple layers that is the characteristic of compound epithelial cell tissue so we'll see through the diagram that how cells are arranged in multiple layers in a stratified epithelium that the cells which are present in the deepest layer they are either cuboidal or columnar. So these are the cells which are present in the deepest layer and these cells they could be cuboidal or columnar and these cells the basal part of the cell means this is the apical part and this is the basal part. The basal part of the cell it lies over the basement membrane so here you can see these are the cells and the basal part of cells they are in close contact with the basal membrane these cells they can divide mitotically so they form a layer and that layer is called stratum germinativum they divide mitotically and the cell grow in outward direction here above the stratum germinativum there are layers of cells and these cells are polygonal in shape and these cells they form a layer and that layer is called intermediate layer so here there are multiple layers but i have drawn only three layers and this is collectively known as intermediate layer and cells here present they are polygonal in shape polygonal cells are present in the intermediate layer on the superficial layer there are another kind of cells and these cells they could be squamous columnar or cuboidal here i am drawing squamous epithelial cells so stratified epithelium they can be classified into different types based on the types of cells present on the superficial layer here since i have drawn here squamous epithelial cells so this particular diagram represents stratified squamous epithelium it is stratified squamous epithelium in the superficial layer there could be cuboidal cells columnar cells etc if the superficial layer is having cuboidal epithelial cells then then that type then that type of tissue is called a stratified cuboidal epithelium this superficial layer can have columnar epithelial cells in that condition it is called a stratified columnar epithelium so here this diagram particularly it represents stratified squamous epithelium 
and this layer is called stratum corneum in case of keratinized stratified squamous epithelium this is stratified squamous epithelium here i have men mentioned that is keratinized it means there are types of stratified squamous epithelium so here the stratified squamous epithelium they are of two types the first one is keratinized squam stratified squamous epithelium in this type of epithelium this cells which is squamous epithelial cells here the cytoplasm it is replaced by hard it is replaced by hard protein and that protein is called keratin and that is waterproof also so due to this presence of the keratin the cell cytoplasm which has been replaced so this cells become dead so these cells that is the here that the outer few layers of the cells there here it happens that the cytoplasm is replaced by the hard waterproof protein and that is keratin and the process is called keratinization okay and this type of epithelium is found in case of epidermis of a skin nails horn feather etc the second type of stratified squamous epithelium is non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium so as name suggests that the cytoplasm here in this cells they are not replaced by the keratin so this is non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium and the characteristic of this type of tissue is that they they don't prevent loss of water so prevention of water is not present in this type of tissue and so i will write down here don't prevent loss of water and it has moderate protection against abrasion and this type of tissue is found in examples oral cavity esophagus pharynx vagina cervix anal canal etc as i told you before that superficial layer can have cuboidal epithelial cells too in that case the tissue is called stratified cuboidal epithelium and this type of tissue is found in ducts of 
salivary gland and pancreas the this is the second type the first type is this is the stratified squamous epithelium is the first type of stratified epithelium second type of stratified epithelium is this cuboidal epithelium the third type is stratified columnar epithelium it means that the superficial layer of tissue is having columnar cells and this type of tissue is found in the ducts of mammary gland and epiglottis the other type of stratified squamous epithelium is stratified ciliated columnar epithelium and this type of tissue is found in the larynx and upper part of soft palate so this is about the stratified epithelium the next is transitional epithelium unlike stratified epithelium the epithelial cells are arranged in four to six layers the epithelial cells which are present in the deepest layer of the tissue they are directly in contact with the underlying connective tissue so here in transitional epithelium basement membrane is absent here it is absent this is the apical part and this is the distal part of the epithelial cells here the distal part of the cells they are directly in contact with the connective tissue basement membrane is absent in transitional epithelium above this layer here that intermediate layer layer is present and intermediate layer it is two to three layered structure this is intermediate layer and the cells which are which are present in the intermediate layer they are polygonal or pear shaped the superficial layer is having that is large globular or umbrella shaped cells large globular or umbrella shaped cells are present and these cells are stretchable cells location of transitional epithelium is renal pelvis renal calyces ureter urethra urinary bladder since these all structures are related with the urinary system this tissue is also referred as urothelium function transitional epithelium it enables distension and due to this characteristic due to this characteristic urinary bladder can retain urine for for certain period of time without damaging the structure basically this is a protective tissue so this was about the compound epithelium